Brynham Priory, home to Benedictine monks for over 400 years, with 14 monks at its peak in 1320, dropping to 11 in 1381, and just 6 in the 1530s. It was founded in 1091 by the Norman Baron Peter des Vallones, on land given by his uncle William the Conqueror. The construction spanned around 150 years, with the buildings developed throughout the medieval period. The monastery was closed in 1539 as part of the suppression of the monasteries under Henry VIII. The seven western bays of the nave were sealed off from the rest, with its striking 13th century west front. This remains in use as Brimham Parish Church which with the support of the local community has survived to the present day. It is now known as so the Priory Church well. of St Mary and the Holy Cross. So join me and explore what remains. Raw milk served here. Can I say yes please? Well, there it is, raw milk. Abbey Farm Dairy. Yeah, you get it from a vending machine and uh, it tastes rather good. So this is uh, another English heritage property. This is Binham Priory. And the original nave is still in perfect condition and is now being used as the local church. Which is what we see in front of us. Well, everyone knows no church or cathedral is complete without a piece of scaffolding. It is interesting driving through that, that was quite unique. It's part of the restoration, so whether it will be on repair. You can see how extensive it used to be. Yeah. It shows how big it was. Now we're only in this part here, all of this. So the gatehouse you drive through is there, but yeah. the car park, I guess, here? Yes. Yes, because we've walked in through there and up, up here. Okay, so the dash line is the probable site precinct of the precinct boundary. boundary. And then you've got the surviving wall, which is, which that, is that, which is over, over here. That ruin's quite extensive, though. It's not obvious where to start. It's not obvious what all these rooms are. with Fractor written on it. Don't know what that means. This is the warming house. So the monk's droiter is above and this is the undercroft.
Ooh, I wonder what that is. We've got a slope down. I'd like to find out what that is. No plaque to tell me. Oh, there is a plaque up there. Let's walk up there. It's the outside wall. Clearly there's more hidden underneath. <laughs> All that sign says is sheer drop. Benedictine life. Oh, okay, so we're here. Mm -hmm. So this is what still survives, which is now the church. Yeah. But it tells you all the different, what was, so behind us was like the dining room. Yeah. Beyond that was the kitchen. Uh, what I've been up to is actually the kiln. Ah, okay. You've got the dormitory and the undercroft and the warming house. Doesn't say what that is there though. So it's showing the cloister about 1500. So what's that, three in the afternoon. And that is still what remains. So there's a nice tower that's gone. And we've only got those row of windows that we can see. So there's obviously a roof there that's gone as well. Like a, yeah. a walkway or whatever, haven't you? Yeah, but covered? even up here, you've got arches behind here. Mm -hmm. up so in the that possibly was a, a walkway. Yeah, because you can see though that the, the middle window that's there, that, that is a different shape to the arch that's within. Yes. So a window has clearly been added. Yes. As that's been bricked in and the other one's just been bricked up. Whereas the original windows across the top yep. are as they were. And I don't know about the lower ones, they look like they've been bricked up, but whether they would have been completely open. You notice you've got three windows that are like a go to a point and then three that oh, are yeah. just arched. Yeah. But above it the stone's different, so, yes. so they're, they're probably different ages too, aren't they? Whereas on here they're showing them all as arches. Yes. And that's not right. Is it with, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven off there. Because in reality these three are going to a point. Interesting. So it's the door tour stairs. stairs. So I'm guessing door tour is where it's like dormitory, I guess. Possibly, yeah. Nice tiles on the floor. They would have gone all the way up. Yeah, on, on your left as well. Look. So that, that's clearly been blocked off and still survives. Yeah. And there's your cross actually, you've got your cross going across here. Yes. And then the top here yep. and down. Okay, that makes sense of it. So that's what remains now. And we're standing just here. So the cross shape would have been there. Much of it is complete. It's just... Just seen that. <laughs> that is stunning. got busier.
This must be a, either a new gravestone or a replaced one because the people in it, one died in 1940 and one died in 1956, but yet the gravestone looks, um, or the headstone looks new. Yeah. So this is odd as well. Not odd, but unusual. You can see Louisa Dunn died in 21st of May and Joseph Dunn, I assume that's the husband, died just five days later. How sad, but how nice at the same time. Someone wasn't left on their own. So to help me grow this channel, please subscribe, like, share and comment. It really makes a big difference and would mean a lot to me.